guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. I am so excited to be here with Katie. We're at her hotel room in LA. It's the She's, hotel edition. It's the hotel edition. <laughs> She's from New York. Yes. And so we're gonna talk about like traveling and what she packs and she's a blogger and she's doing like constantly doing photos. So we're gonna talk about everything that's here. <laughs> My whole life. I'm so it's excited. behind us. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, okay, tell me a little bit about what you do because yes. that will make more sense for exactly. them. Like why you have. <laughs> like all of these beautiful pieces. So I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger and I'm also an on-air style expert on NBC and Fox. So lately when I travel, I try to do like half work, half play so that I can get all my content in and also see my friends, especially in LA. Um, but I travel with two giant away suitcases because I have to bring all my looks. I mean, it is LA, I could have pulled things here, but sometimes it's just easier knowing I have the stuff, I'm going, and let's get on the way. And line. sometimes like with work, you have to pull pieces in like your hometown. Yeah. So how is that planning like for weather and for everything like expecting, like it could be freezing in New York, but like warm where like in LA or Miami or something, how is that? That it's definitely crazy. I mean, this is the part that gets me the most anxious yeah. because I just need to always have extra things. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a good traveler, I'm not the best traveler. And I remember like, going into JFK, when did I get here? Two days ago with like all my suitcases. I'm like, <laughs> I look like a crazy woman right now. I was like, it's my job. That's why I need to pay extra for like the suitcases. Yeah. But it is crazy. I have to bring like, I have jackets, I have sweaters, I have t-shirts. I try to bring like a lot of mixes. An array. An array. If you will. A myriad of clothing. <laughs> so I guess first things first, we should talk about travel like essentials. Mm -hmm. So what are some pieces that you feel like you could not travel without? Okay, first thing ever, I never ever travel without a leather jacket. She's my girl. <laughs> I need this. I have one in black. This is so cute. Got that Eero on eBay for half the price. I live for a deal. I love this. And I, then I had to get it in a rep. Of course. We'll have to do like a boomerang. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, oh yes, we need them both on so we're like yeah, pink ladies. Like, <laughs> twinning. And so I always bring leather jackets. I don't necessarily shoot these. This is just my everyday throw on. Need this always. I feel bad. I never go anywhere without my 501 skinny mm -hmm. Levi's. Just so classic. Classic. You can dress them up. Exactly. Dress them up, wear the dinner with the t-shirt if it's hot. And then I can also wear it around if it's a little chilly in LA. Those are my like two essentials. Yeah, go to. Wherever I go around the world, they and come with me. Tie-dye. Everyone's into tie-dye now. So this so is another fun layering. So spring, summer. Tie-dye is yes. just like a little. This is my second sweatshirt I think I brought from Redone. The red one over there is also this Redone. One. I'm really into their sweatshirt. I love this. And they're just so soft. I like the rips. They're luxury. They're high and low. Yeah. It's a luxury item but that you can also wear just as a sweatshirt, but mm -hmm. also with jeans and heels out to dinner. So cute. I love that. I love it so much. <laughs> and then you have like cute little date night going out yes, little numbers. Always, I always carry, I have a few of them. Oh my gosh, I probably have three, which is way I was going to wear a needed. slip dress this morning, but then I changed out of I it mean, last minute. I mean, do we have enough slip dresses? I'm not sure. Never enough. I mean, leopard is obviously a huge trend. Leopard is my favorite color. I always <laughs> love that. I love leopard. Love, love, love. Even like, I mean, it's such I mean, a classic. Like the short staple. It's such a classic staple. I think there are ways that it can look a little hoochie or cheesy, mm -hmm. but I think if you wear plain leopard with a leather jacket or these leopard shorts, these are from Nanushka. Yeah. From Intermix with this like lavender top. I think it's a really good look. I think it like elevates it. Yeah. I feel like it's it could be very rock star, like yeah. a red lip, you know, a oh, leopard yeah. and leather jacket. These leopard jeans from one teaspoon. Yes. Which is an LA brand. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're from Australia. Oh, One I love. I love them. <laughs> I love their love. But these are low rise, which I haven't really worn any low rise. I am jeans. terrified of low rise. <laughs> Since like, like Levi's have made a huge comeback, I'm only wearing high yeah. rise. But you know, I'm like. This will help me get in shape for the summer. My body is not ready for a low rise moment. <laughs> no, but we will try. Yeah, that's no, my inspiration. I, whew, <laughs> I love these, and I feel yeah, I feel like I was saying like with the red lip, it just makes it very mm -hmm. edgy and rock and roll, very totally. Gwen Stefani kind of like. Yes, you know, Gwen. I love, I she's love a her. 
fashion icon. She really is. And speaking of, who do you look up to in terms of like fashion oh, yeah. icons or who gives you inspo like when you're looking through their feed or? Uh, I mean, pretty much everyone I follow on Instagram, but my biggest fashion icon is the costume designer Patricia Fields. Mm -hmm. So she was the costume designer for Sex and the City, yes. which I try to live vicariously as now yeah. in the city and she also does younger i live for her i think she just does the most creative thing she really like sets the tone for the generation like i think for sex and city I now agree. everyone wanted to dress everyone wanted to dress like carrie now younger everyone wants to dress how they're dressing in the show I yeah i that. think it's she's brilliant and mm -hmm. everything she does is genius I fully agree. Like that she's is fun. Outfit inspo and fun. Yeah, she has, has fun, fun with, with fashion. Yeah. I think when I started my blog, I there were so many bloggers out there that were super edgy and high fashion editorial, and I just knew I wanted to show that you can have fun with it. You don't have to be serious. You can keep it positive, colorful, and light. Yeah. And I think she like started that whole trend. Yeah. For sure. I love that, and I totally agree. Okay, over here we have more floral. Should we talk about yes. this little baby? Yes. So here is like another Intermix private label floral brand. I mean, I'm all about florals. I used to be afraid of prints, and now all I do is wear prints with a pair of Levi jeans. I think it's fun. I think that you shouldn't be afraid to wear prints, especially if in New York, you're a New Yorker and all you wear is black. Mm -hmm. Have fun with your style. I love a print. I think these are super fun and playful. Yeah. But for a date night. Yes. Speaking of, yes. what's your go-to date night look? Okay, so for the first day, I always tell everyone you have to be casual, cool, and sexy. Mm -hmm. So, like, you don't want to ever look, I think, like you came from work. Yes, That's I agree. definitely a New York thing. Like, my friends will be like, oh, well, I have my work bag, but I'm dressing cute, so I look like, oh, I just came from work and didn't care. No, that is not I the hate way to when go. girls say that. Like, oh, like I just like want to be so casual. Like I don't care. It's like, okay, but you do care. You do care, <laughs> and that's not an excuse. And the first date is the go see or the look see, yeah. I like to call it. That is your first impression of someone. You should be in Levi jeans, mm -hmm. a pair of kitten or like cutie heels like yes. these. These are uh, adorable. These ones are these rag and bone. Oh, I love these. Look at how cute. I destroyed them, but these that are makes them there. cool. I, I hope I'm like, oh yeah, they're cool now. <laughs> I like fully destroyed them, but that and then I always like to wear a silk cami or um like a top like this that you can like leave open, have a little bit of like your bralette. Yeah, um, like a little skin, but not, not scandalous. Not too much, but still sexy and then Always do your hair and makeup. Go yes. home before, even if you have a meeting, no worries. Tell the date you're running late and just go home. Yeah, fashionably you need to, late. <laughs> you need to pamper yourself. Yeah, you need to look good. A question that I always ask mm -hmm. and I forgot to ask, how would you describe your style, like your personal style to Ooh. somebody? It definitely depends on my mood. I, I feel, feel like I try to play a different character every day. Mm -hmm. When I started my blog, I really felt that honestly Kate was my fashion character and then Katie Sands was me. So I'm a lot, a lot, a lot of times I'm in sweatpants and hanging, but when I'm out, I try to dress for the occasion. So it's usually bright, a little dramatic, I love. <laughs> over the top, more whimsical yes. and character-like mm -hmm. than normal. I love that. New York City, everyone's in black at all times, so I try to bring a little color to it. <laughs> Stand out a little. <laughs> Just a little. And then I come in, I'm like, I've arrived. <laughs> you have so many fabulous bags and accessories and things right here on the bed. So can we just jump yes, into this? Yes, definitely. Okay, I, I wish I brought more fun things. Like, you know when you're packing, you think that you bring so no, much. there's so much. I feel like because it's yours and like you've seen it, you're like, okay, but I'm like, yay. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, this is an oldie, but I'm obsessed. It's, I love. It's a fringy. Thing. Shout out to everybody at Coachella right now. You wish you had this with you. You <laughs> <Maybe it. laughs> we do, but. This is from Guess. My dream in life is just to be a guest girl. They're is always like the cutest babes. The, the cutest babes. They have the most fun parties. I agree. So they sent me this um, little backpack and I thought it was perfect for LA. And I I'm love it. usually not into designer logos at all, but. This tote. This is everything. I just needed it. This tote is magical. Can I tell you a story about tell this me. tote? So my clients, Veronica and Vanessa Merrill, they're actresses and YouTube creators, mm -hmm. and Dior personally invited them to attend their show in Paris Front Row out. because 
of their fabulousness. <laughs> so they got invited. And when they got to their hotel room as a gift, it had their name, it on, had it. Their name on it. See? And it's that just gold. It's magic. So mine still says Christian Dior. Which is just as fabulous <laughs> and amazing. But I just loved it. I obviously. I'm always the bag lady running around New York City with tons of things. Garment bags, this, and this just fit everything. So it was a splurge piece and I went for it. So worth it. Um, um is there anything that we missed that we need to talk about on the like Okay. Here's another I die nest. for this. This is my favorite thing ever. I mean, this did fully feel like a princess. Oh I need to gosh. get it steamed, but it's I love Rococo sand. I think the brand is a little pricey for being contemporary, but you know what, for a wedding weekend, for this is so special, you a honeymoon vacation, even just like a summer birthday party, I I'm love. love. I'm they also love. make a tie-dye version of this, oh which is incredible that I absolutely love. This is beautiful. They're, all their pieces are like a piece of art. Beaded, amazing. I just fell in love with that. I know. I feel like we really did great. <laughs> your pieces are amazing Thank that you, you travel so with. And I feel like I can't wait to see all of these on your Instagram. You'll see them. We're doing a whole shoot later today. Yay. <laughs> um, how do you, we should chat. We should chat for a yes. second. Should we sit down? I'm okay. <laughs> so I have some of this or that questions for you. They're okay. kind of rapid fire. They're oh, food I like rapid and fire. fashion. Those are my two favorite things. We like, do. had a little makeover transformation moment. A little hat party. Yes. So, okay. I couldn't come empty handed. So I have a little oh something God. for you. You do? Yes. So... Oh God, Gigi so Hadid excited. and Vogue Eyewear and did I heard about a collab. This. I love. Is there like, okay, there's glasses in here. I'm so glad. They're really kooky. I'd love to see how you would style these. How cute are they on they you? Look cute. So good. You have to do like a front facing oh, moment to see this because it's super With cute. With my hat. On you. Oh, I'm so extra <gasps> right now. Oh, I, I love, love it. that. <laughs> you are so cute in those. Those are so fun. So she launched like a whole... Oh, those! Like, these are crazy. Which ones do you like better? Oh my god, I feel like I need to try on the shield. I wanted to see how you'd style these. Okay. Because that like is so interesting so, to me because they're so funky. They're, these are super funky. I would... I'm like gonna get my makeup on them, so don't be... They're very superhero. I would wear these with biker shorts, the crop shirt, and jean jacket, and Ooh, sneakers. Very futuristic and like... Baddie. Like an, yes. like an Instagram baddie I, I, moment. That's like an Instagram yeah. moment. It's like you can't smile. I smile in all my pictures and people always are I like, are you smile. happy? I'm like, it's not that I'm always happy. I'm so awkward that I can't stand in front of the camera and not be like, this is hilarious. And then I end up laughing and then it's, I'm smiling in every photo. That's fun and sweet. I maybe come off as like a bee because I never smile at her. But that's photos. the thing is when I don't smile, I feel like I look super bitchy. So I'm like... <laughs> And I'm like, I swear that's not me. I feel like I'm fun and sweet. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Wait, honestly. No, these are so fun. I saw, knew she had a launch in New York City. I love it. So Sunglass Hut sent me these. Amazing. And which ones do you want to keep? Can I keep the shield? Yeah. I feel like I just took them from you. No, I, <laughs> I brought one for you and one for a subscriber. Oh, amazing. So if you want to win these really cool aviator looking ones with like a pink tint, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite piece you saw in this episode was like <laughs> on this beautiful rack of clothes um comment down below and let us know i love that and That's you'll so nice. automatically be entered to win these and if you were um entered or if you entered to win the last oh, um like the contest from bobby's episode i would love to announce that camila you are the winner and i will be sending you <laughs> the t-shirt very soon um okay so i'm all over the place this or that question okay chocolate or vanilla Vanilla. Heels or flats? Flats. Grilled chicken or fried chicken? Fried chicken. Should I lose my hat? Oh, I just <laughs> I just made this like my new piece. This is like my new thing. A transformation yes. mid midway. Um, designer or thrifted? Thrifted. Chips or ice cream? Chips. You're so fast on this. <laughs> Long nails or short nails? Short nails. I don't even have nail polish on right now. I'm bugging. I kind of like it. It's very I natural. I wish I could have long nails on. Like, uh, long nails. Like, I I'm saw you when you walked in. Ooh. I was like, I need, need, need that. <laughs> but I can't do it. I always, like, I'm like. It's it's a it's a, an ordeal to have long nails. Mm -hmm. uh, bikini or one piece? Bikini. So I'm trying to be cool and wear one piece now. I love a good one piece. I think they're really sexy. Yeah, they really are. Uh, daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Heavy eye or a dark lip? Dark lip. Like Love today. your lip. Um, gold or silver? Gold. Me too. 
Gorgeous gold girls. We can't see where Davis. Okay, Twitter or Snapchat? Okay, I I never use either, but I think Snapchat. <laughs> okay, filter. This is with a good filter. Yeah, that's life. -changing. And Twitter cuts off what I want to say. Yeah, I feel like it's very. I don't know. Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat. Love your like, yeah. Texting or talking on the phone? Talking on the phone for sure. Me too. I'm a talker. I'm a horrible texter. I. First thing when I met my boyfriend, I'm like, I'm really sorry, I don't think, I don't want to see you. I'm horrible and sometimes I send the wrong things to people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shopping online or shopping at the mall? Online. I really, really don't like when I'm shopping and people talk to me. <gasps> I hate when I'm shopping in person and someone like runs up to something because I looked at it. Yeah. Like that happens a lot to me. And then they take it. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll, I'll like be like, oh, this is cute. Pick it up. And then like someone swoops in and like, swipes yeah, it. I'm like, okay, calm down. I just don't like, sometimes I just want to see, or sometimes I just want to get inspo and trust me, I worked in retail that my first job was in retail and I was very aggressive, probably too aggressive, but I just can't when people still talk to me. You're like, okay, let's back off. Cause then I feel pressure. Yeah. And then you feel bad if you do. And exactly. Like, I something. always feel bad. And if I don't get something, especially if they were so nice because I'm like, you deserve the same. I know, I know. I know. Because you're a sweetheart. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, planned out or spontaneous? Okay, so I'm definitely a hybrid of the two because I always love having a plan, but I like to be spontaneous. I just don't like sometimes when you're spontaneous and oh, let's go to this restaurant, let's just try it, and then I don't have a res, because yeah. I like being like, no problem, yeah. I have a res yeah. somewhere else. <laughs> I, so I like to be spontaneous with a backup plan. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, black and white or color? Color. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> I knew that. Tea or coffee? Tea. I am addicted to the taste of coffee. I love coffee. I cannot drink it. Really? I drank like two little sips this morning. Coffee makes me... Like jittery and not. It feels like my heart's beating super fast. I wish I could have it. I love coffee ice cream. I love anything coffee flavored. I, coffee. I just can't drink it. Yeah. Um, and tell me like a little bit about what you're working on right now and what's been going on. Tell me about the blog. Tell me about everything. So I'm working on a lot of different partnerships. I'm actually going to shoot something really exciting with Bloomingdale's after this. Yes. I'm also working with Garnier, which has been one of my favorite brands since I Forever. started using skincare, yeah, and so me I'm, too. I'm so excited. I'm doing a fun campaign with them. Congratulations! Today. Thank you. On that. Um, what else? Oh, I just did something. I went to. I don't know if anyone saw this online, but it was a one night only show for Olay. <gasps> And it was a Broadway show. They rented a Broadway theater. What? So I partnered with them on that. And I've never been so excited for a campaign because I'm a huge theater geek. And I was singing along. Some of my favorite Broadway actors were cast in the show. That's amazing. So it was a mix of like my job slash my passion. Yeah. And I was bugging out. That's so amazing. much fun. Um, what else am I? I'm working on a lot of crazy things. There's a lot going on in your world. A lot going on. It just never ends. But you know what? I'd rather be busy. Me and too. I rather, even when I feel hectic or overwhelmed, I'm like, I'd rather be doing this though than sitting in an office, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's 100% yes. how I feel too. Um, I had so much fun. Thank you I for know. inviting me. I'm so I had happy. a wonderful time. I've been stalking her forever, so you I'm guys, just so excited to do this. She called me. We're going to do this in New York, but we we're like, we have to do like a travel edition. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> it. And I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.